Hey guys, this is Mark, welcome back. In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform mathematical operations on a collection of numbers. All those numbers would be in a list. Uh, and uh, with just a single block, you can perform uh, various uh, operations on all the numbers in there. Uh, to do this, let's set up our list. For this, I will create a variable that I will call my numbers. And let's initialize this variable to a empty list for now. And here we have create empty list. Let's set up a loop where we will go from, let's say one to how about 20. And in this loop, we will generate a random number and put it in our collection. We have done it in one of the lectures before. So in here, if we go to lists, we'll find this block to add a uh, value to a list. Let's select our my numbers. And the value that we will get is going to be a random integer from, let's say, minus 10 to 20. Ooh, let's just go to 100. Why not? The reason it's minus 10, because I wanted to get some negative numbers as, as well. And in fact, if we increase that spread, we will get equal share of negative and positive hopefully because how random it is it's going to be fairly random so there is a there is a chance that we will get a negative number so by the time this loop is done we will have that collection of numbers in fact let's print it out just so we will see what's in it and we'll connect this my numbers to that print block now the list is ready let's see how we can get let's say the sum of all the values in that list if you go to math Right here, you will see this block that says sum of list. And uh, the value that this block returns, it's going to be a number because that cal it calculates the sum. So if we connect it to the print block, print will display the sum of all the values in the my numbers list. Let's run this page. There you go. So this is this is our list. As you can see, we have both positive and negative numbers and the sum is 139. So as you can see, it's very simple to do this. If we want to get, let's say, the minimum number in that list, we run it and it quickly finds that minimum number, which is minus 96. Same goes for finding maximum average median. So let's say if we run the average, it's going to be, well, 10.85. Very cool. Some other things that it has, for instance, modes. Mathematical modes uh, it's, is an operation where it finds a number that is the most repeated in, uh, in any given collection. So here, if we're going to get any numbers that repeat, then uh, the modes will give, give us that value. Let's see if we're going to get lucky. And here it is. It is number 92. So in fact, 92 must have appeared more than once. Indeed, you see here 92 and then 92 and the, the modes uh, operation was able to quickly find that value additionally you have standard deviation or you can get a random item from that list so all of these are very very helpful operations that uh, at times you you would need to use in your logic that's all i wanted to demonstrate today very simple but very powerful uh, block in codeless thank you for watching this video and as always Happy Godless Coding.